All right, hi gang, this is Mr. Lewick, and today you are going to make another meme, or more than one, but this time you are going to insert a background onto the Google slide and then use something called word art for the words that you want on your slide. All right, so first of all, if you open up your slide and it looks like this, let's get rid of these text, box, text boxes. Best way is to move your pointer near the top of the slide, click, hold, drag, create a select box let go, and when it highlights them, then press the backspace key. That will delete them. Okay, there we go. So let's get a background. Let's see, you wanna choose an image and look for one that you would like. Uh, I searched dog already, so I'm going to use dog for my background. I'll click this one, and you can use any type you want as long as they are appropriate for school, no blood, guts, or things that are making fun of people. All right, then click done. There we go, I'm ready. Okay, now I gotta decide what the words are that I want. Now I'm not doing a text box. If I was, I'd click on this T to insert a text box. I'm doing word art. So I look for the word insert, click, scroll down to word art, click again. And this opens up a window where I can type some words in there. So let's see, what do I want my meme to say? Oh, I know. Did you... say lunch with a question mark. Okay, now down here, there's some directions. It says use enter to save. So if I click the enter button, that's going to save it and it's going to put it on my slide. Now it also says use shift plus enter for multiple lines. So if I want to go down another line, I'm going to, let's see, I press the shift key and then enter. And every time I press shift and enter, it goes down again. And now look, I have spaces there. So that's if I want to type more, which I don't for this one. So now I am just going to click enter to save. Let's see what happens. Haha, -ha, look at that. It inserted it as word art. Now this is going to make it really pop up. Now it acts just like a regular text box. When I click on the line where it looks like a target, click, hold, and drag, I can move that to wherever I want. You probably want your words at the top or the bottom. Now, let's get to the cool stuff. You can change the type of font it is. Right now it's Arial. Let's see, what am I gonna pick here? I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Looking, 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 looking. Oh, let's just use uh, Comic Sans. Okay, there we go. So now I can click and drag this to make it bigger. <laughs> Or smaller. You gotta play around with it a little bit. You can also do it this way. Probably don't want that though. Alright, so let's do it just like this. Now watch this. You can change the inside color of the text. I click on the paint can because you're filling in the text color. And let's go black. Alright, now watch this. I want to change the outside outline of it. I click on border outline, out border color. There's a pencil. Right now it says it's black. Click on that. And then I, let's do white. Ooh, look how that pops out now. Maybe I should do white in the middle. I don't know. Okay, so now I can also change the thickness of the outline. I go to border weight. And if I go up to, let's see, four. Ooh, look at that. And if I scroll this all the way down to the bottom, now it's looking like those real memes that we see. All right, now you got to play with the colors, decide which one shows up best. Like, you know what? I think I'm going to do white in the middle with a black outline. Yeah, that shows up much better. Okay, so there we go. I have a meme. I'm using a background image, and then I'm using word art, art to make it really pop out. Okay, that's it. You can make as many as you want. Get to it. Have fun.